He's discovering lots about himself, and he's spending a lot more time in the bathroom. This will be the high point of my day. Todd? That's Todd Todd Villa, bitch. Adventure is up there! Here's a Toddzilla X dispatch. And welcome to Tikal. Tikal is a great deal different than both Chichen Itza and Palenque, from what I can tell, because everything is buried here. It would be nearly impossible to do this tour without a guide. You need a guide to tell you which uh, path to go down to to get to uh, which temple, and it's vast. It's huge. It took us 35 minutes uh, to actually get to the uh, first temple, temple number four, with our guides. Another great thing about Tikal is that you can actually climb on the monuments. Uh, in Chichen Itza, you can't do that. <laughs> Palenque, <laughs> Palenque, you can, and here uh, you definitely can. And the monuments here are uh, most of them are a lot bigger than the ones in Palenque. Uh, there's a couple that are quite large in Palenque as well, but the ones here are huge. Uh, you're talking uh, a 200 foot climb to get to the top of one of the temples here, so I'm going to try to give you a, uh, an idea of what it's like to come up and down these things. <laughs> And hopefully I don't kill myself in the process, so here we go. Don't say I don't go the extra mile for you fuckers, okay? Here it is. I'll give you a look at the steps here. Maybe you can see them better back here. Not exactly up to code, you know? <laughs> the good thing about this is if I fall and I break my neck, you can play this at my funeral and uh, get a good chuckle at my expense, yeah? Here's a view from the other side. That's where I'm heading. Yeah, here we go. Quit, quit talking and do it, Todd. Here we go. And you have things like that. Hola. Hola. <laughs> it would be better to slide. You think we could do that? No, I don't think so. Oh, shit. Just destroyed some Mayan some entry work. <laughs> Steep, yeah? <laughs> and we're down. <laughs> Perfect. Bravo. And from the bottom. Pretty impressive, huh? Made out of wood? It's, he had it but not <laughs> right here. We're following holler, or howler monkeys through the jungle. Can you hear that? It's fucking amazing. Right up there somewhere. Fire. Tiny fuckers. At least this makes up a little bit for my uh, <laughs> lack of footage from uh, Sabuk Champagne, huh? 
I'll have to go back for that. <laughs> He's grooming her. It's so cool. Okay, here we go. Hopefully I don't fall. steep. Guys, what we have here, by the way, we're in uh, Tikal, north of Guatemala, within a Maya realm that it's known as uh, Tikal. You gotta come here once in your this life. This is the LSD plant. <laughs> <laughs> but this that we have here, it's all spice. At home, we think that it's a mixture of spices, but it's not. It comes from one tree and it gives one berry that we use for pumpkin pie, cookies, Christmas, you yeah. know what I mean? And whenever you had a, a tooth pulled out, you, you put the berry in its place, huh. and you know, yeah. they don't know the <laughs> malaria. Yeah. And by the way, this is also used for evil eye. With children or adults, you know, they, they get scared half to death. You make a tea, you add anise, which the Greeks use as hard liquor uzo, and a dab of garlic. So it's a quicker picker upper. Hmm. So we think, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little creepy at night, isn't it? People at home, follow me. By the way, my name's Caesar. <laughs> okay, lock and load. Put all your gadgets away. Come on. Okay, sayonara. We're following that sound. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs>
track a bit, so that way we won't lose them. Sigan recto! Can you hear that? Fucking amazing. Right up there somewhere. Can you see them? All right, good. Can you see them? Tiny fuckers. <laughs> Come get some, boy. I know you can see the uh, the branches moving up there. I know you can't see the monkeys, but they're there, and they're tiny. Look like they're about the size of a raccoon. Making all that fucking noise. If you can see a shape moving. <laughs> awesome. Gotcha. I got a spot here. That's what's making all that noise. See him? See him right there in the middle? There he goes. That's what's making all that noise. That's it. This is a famous quick lime. Yeah. Yes? A white powder, la cal. cal. This is what put the call together. Well, you can see it on the ground. Right. So, yeah. But it, in order to bring this forth, you have to burn great amounts of trees, guys. If you don't have this, you don't have a city that would look spiffy. Yes. Uh -huh. If anybody at home saw the movie Apocalypto, <laughs> from my you know, critic corner, Thumbs up. Most people think it was based on the Maya time frame, but no, it was the Aztec time frame. But I, what I want to get to, it's a small scene in the movie where people are cutting stone and they're all white and blood coming out of the mouth. Guys, it's fair to say that if you were working on an, in a quarry since day one, you will die from inside out because you're inhaling it. You know what I mean? It'll kill you. It's like it is like famosa cama. And please, let me show you something. Keep it, keep it, keep it going. He likes the camera. And they were never heard from again. <laughs> Where's the cameraman? Get over here. Okay. <laughs> you know how much I charge for this, yeah? <laughs> Everybody says, hey, there was tunnels here left by the Mayans. No tunnels left by these people. We are the ones that have gone digging into the area to understand the evolution of construction. There's more than five levels of construction, one on top of the other, like that of the Russian dolls, the matryoshka, or like an onion, layer on top of layer, guys. O sea, es así como lo hicieron. Edificaban uno, 
y le ponían toneladas de material irregular y fuera de eso, otra fachada, uh -huh. como una cebolla. O las famosas eh, muñecas rusas, <risa> ¿Eh? las matrioshkas. Uh -huh. ¿Está Think we got it. Okay. Put that on YouTube, bro. And before you fuckers complain about the shaky camera work, let's see you run two at a time. Huh? Keep recording, brother. We got it. Hey guys, don't you always believe what you read? You know what I mean? You <laughs> miss out on a lot of things, man. He's not the best tour guide in Guatemala for nothing. <laughs> the reason why we're coming up on this uh, back end of Tikal is so you people at home will say, all right, lock and load. We're going down to Central America and visit Caesar and also Tikal. Come on, don't miss it. Don't slip. Oh, there goes the whole recording, <laughs> man. <laughs> no, that may be the best part of it. Bring the camera as low as you can so it'll rush through all this. Man. Welcome to my city, guys. Nice. Hey, you got a nice town, Caesar. <laughs> This is a shit or what, huh? Yeah, yes. excuse my language. No, no, that's okay. We're from the stairs. Yeah. Okay. Shit, man. Yeah, what's up, bro? <laughs> hey, us here. Caesar, this is the shit. <laughs> oh and at one time, in these people's time frame, I could have been out here and said, I'm your God. Did you yeah. hear that? Hail Caesar. I hope you're not Buddhist. <laughs> <laughs> but, guys, this is the heart of Tikal, and Tikal means place of whispers. I'm your God! Now you think, you know, people maybe think you're crazy, but back then that was worse. Yeah, you say maybe he is my God. <laughs> and there's still more. I'm God! I'm God. <laughs> <sighs> and, voila. So experts, they tunneled, they trenched, they destroyed, they dismantled, took apart and understood how these people were able to have built. Most of the burials, if not all of them, uh, they had jade, obsidian, flint, ceramic and also we come to an understanding that most of them were, were of nobility because their teeth worn were not that worn off. Suggesting that they didn't, you know, use their teeth as tools. Everything that they had or consumed was processed. Temple number one is the hallmark of Tikal. It stands at 47 meters of height and the pyramidal base is solid, guys. But interesting is that underneath the level of construction, they found one man, Lord Achkakal, or if you guys read down the line, he went down as Lord Chocolate. He measured six feet of height and was buried with 16 pounds and a half of jewelry. But I'm okay with all that. But you know what puzzled me for the moment when I learned about that is that there was a human bone apart from his that had a dugout canoe carved. Everybody's been trying to tell us <clears throat> that we need a boat for the hereafter. Noah's Ark, Egyptian pyramids, the Vikings, hell, even the movie 2012 <laughs> suggests that we need a boat for the hereafter. But and the carving was filled in with cinnabar, which contains mercury sulfate. It's blood poisoning, guys. Oh. Ah, you never know what's going to bring you down. <laughs> now, on the opposite side of us, we have uh, Temple of the Masks. It's known as such because of the nine masks that decorate the upper front portion of its roof comb. For a while, they thought they were going to find the remains of Lord Akakao's wife, but no such luck. But we can't discard that she might be within the tons of limestone rubble used to build the monument or underneath it. Or maybe she was cremated. Because it's believed that they had that tendency out here of cremating people or putting the remains of their loved ones underneath the floors of their... And guys, 
as impressive as all of this is for you today, it's just the tip of the iceberg. Well, folks, all good things come to an end. This is uh, Little Caesar's Travels at Yahoo.com and Todd in the camera here saying uh, goodbye for the moment, but uh, I hope to see you in the near future here in the heart of the Maya world, uh, Tikal. So a little background on the uh, tour today. I didn't pay for it. <laughs> I intended to uh, just come out here and uh, wander around by myself, but uh, for some reason, uh, Caesar decided to uh, let me come along and uh, when he did I told him I was a writer slash filmmaker and uh, it's worked out quite well so Caesar loves the camera he loves what he does he loves to call he loves Guatemala he's very 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 good at it and uh, it turned out to be a great day so I guess just go for it if that's the lesson huh good advice for the kids the Tonsilla X, Tonsilla X dispatch TodzillaX.com or a Todzilla X on Facebook. It's just a ride, fuckers. Quit taking yourself so seriously.